we finally get to open El Package, which arrived. When did this arrive? It arrived on Friday. I, I want to say Friday. Um, a, a man came to the house while I happened to be here, exhausted from shopping and not having a very good day. Um, so, and he gave me this, which cunningly, and using my shrewd brain, I realised was my glossy box. Vicky, because Vicky is scum, has just subscribed to Loot Crate. And I was feeling very left out because I'm still on the waiting list for Sephora Play because Sephora are just sitting in a table made of fake eyelashes, thinking of new ways to just dick me around because I also got given $40 worth of vouchers for Sephora when I left my old job and I can't spend them because I'm English. I subscribed to Glossy Box for 13 something a month, which is including the posted packaging. Ooh! All right. Okay. Oh! The box within a box. See, I feel like this is costing me like, this is like one pound's worth of the money that I wish I hadn't paid. Okay, oh, it is a glossy box. It feels glossy. It made a glossy sound. It, it, it did. Okay, well, that can fuck off. Um, and I did, I, I looked at previous month glossy boxes before I bought it, but I haven't seen anything to do with this one except that there might be a brush type object. Brushes. Things. Oh, okay, I can update my beauty profile. I did that already. I'm greasy and blonde. Oh, okay, there's like a little menu in here of the stuff. So I can tell you what the thing- Oh, It's sort of like a wedding present. At the same time, nearly four pounds of postage and packaging. Spend less on this. I feel like other people would be more delighted by this. I'm just like, this is costing me extra, isn't it? Oh, look! Look at that! As I peel back the delicate pink layers. It's like an autopsy. Um, so the first thing is uh, an MUA Makeup Academy eyeshadow palette. I actually have Makeup Academy stuff already, but not this. Um, and I always think, looking at it, that it's like, Mwah! This contains 12 of their most popular shades ever. Oh. I have to say, I own none of those oh. currently. So um, that's nice. They've got some sort of like goldy ones, some sort of rose gold kind of colours, some blue sparkly black, and there's like some shiny ones, and these ones look kind of matte to me. The second thing is apparently a facial detoxing purifying recovery mask. It's this, this little thing, uh, which is from Mud Masky with pore refining, hydrating, anti-aging, and brightening smoothingness. It doesn't say ness on there, I just added that. And it says use once a week for a healthy and glowing detoxify complexion. And holy shit, apparently this costs 53 pounds. I'm assuming for a bigger one, but. What does it smell like? What's... Is it made of gold? Oh, it's got, oh, it's got a little seal on it, Aww. that's nice. That means that no one else has, has played with it, but it smells like nothingness mm. and slightly of tea tree. Okay, that, that's a good smell for a face that, mask. That's, that's good. Um, that'll help because I've got this kind of section of my face which looks like I've fallen asleep on a mini pizza. Oh, the palette, by the way, is £4, apparently, oh. which seems much more reasonable and less likely mm. to make my eyes bleed. The next thing is this thingy, which is the brush that I had seen in some pictures. And this is a deep pore facial cleansing brush. They paid attention when I said I was blemish. Pros in the know have been using this for years. Silky soft bristles and silicone cushions. Ooh, sounds like something I could sleep on. Um, help to massage the skin to improve microcirculate, not just circulation, tiny circulation. For renewed radiance, I never had any. Just some. Wet the brush and use it with your normal cleanser. So that's $6.99 usually. And I'm gonna pop, pop the little box open, thus decreasing its value. Okay, it feels kind of sturdy. It definitely feels kind of 
like a brush, like that you would use to brush a baby's hair. And it's got these like green thingamajiggles in here, like little caterpillars. Mm. But you'd have to like really whack that on your face to actually feel them anywhere near your skin because the bristles are there and like they're not. <sighs> eh. But it's very pretty and it's got like a sort of slightly pearlescent look to it, which is nice. Uh, the last thing is this. I've had some cow shed stuff before that came free with a magazine because I'm fancy. Um, so this is Wild Cow <laughs> Invigorating Body Lotion. This is the thing that I had before from a magazine. I like this! <sighs> right. I have to be really careful what I put on my skin because I have disgusting eczema. There wasn't a tick box for that. Like, I think there was for like sensitive skin uh, and maybe for like skin conditions, but it didn't say like what kind of lotions do you use because the lotions I use come in six pint tubs and they smell like nothing and they kind of feel like chicken fat because I'm fancy. Um, but this is really nice and it smells good, so I might just use a teeny yeah. bit of that to, to smell good. In the bottom of the box is this. A glossy bag. Which, it's not glossy, it's made no, of canvas. but it's... Oh, it has like a nice lining, bag. like it's got like a, a fabric-y lining, so you could use it for like putting cosmetics mm. in. And what I'm guessing is 15 to 25 pence worth of wiggly paper. That's the uh, primer brush. Yes, that's, you just grab a handful of this. And just scrub work, away. Just, just work it into your yeah. face. So there's also some information on the back. Um, and in, apparently in September we are getting a tiny, tiny, tiny mascara, which is called Better Than Sex. So we may have to do like a compa comparison piece next time. Um, Ow. <laughs> I'm sorry Cameron, usually you're a tripod. I don't think of you as having feelings. This is my first go into subscription boxes and I have to say that I feel like I've got some things that are nice to have. I'm definitely going to use all four of these things. They're definitely good sizes and this is like a full size makeup product but I think this is because they're celebrating like their fifth anniversary of doing mm. these so you may not get something like that every month um whether it would I would say this was worth 13 pounds is something else it's I think the items themselves if I was to buy them I would say I would pay maybe seven pounds for this array of stuff um the rest, I would say, is more for the kind of pleasant surprise value of it coming to your house. So you're paying a bit for the mystery, I think, which is the same with all subscription boxes. So what do you think? Do you... I think that, I mean, I could fully see being asked to pay £13.99 oh, yeah, on all of those things. Because, I mean, then you get into the issue of are cosmetics overpriced? Do things rely on being a brand name more than being a good product? Yeah. So on and so forth. So I, I wouldn't say it was not value for money. Yeah. I mean, you're definitely going to get multiple uses out of everything. There. Oh, I, I definitely am. It's not like their little sachet. Yeah, uh, that's what things. I mean. Like, and especially with this, this bottle, I think, if because um, it's quite rigid. When you're done with that, I could wash that out mm. and I can put things in that to take on holiday. So that's quite useful. Um, oh, God, the smell. Ooh. Um, and I like this. I probably won't use like this half. I like these colours, but they're basically the same as the Naked 3 palette, which I have because I'm fancy. That's the one fancy thing I have. The one time you've said that, that it hasn't been ironic in this I know, video. I know, like, <laughs> not ironically, although as I bought it, I did feel like the skin peeling back from the ends of my fingers like, no, money, come back! <laughs> but it was in Prague money, so it felt like less it expensive. Yeah. Like, it was like, oh, 1,000 crowns. <laughs> that's no amount of money. And then I got home and I was like, that's like 53 pounds. I'm insane. But yeah. So I could definitely see using that. I'm least impressed by this brush thingy because I had a baby hairbrush like this when I was born and I didn't have to pay money for it because I was a child. Um, but we'll check back in, I guess, when the next box comes mm. and um, 
I can update you all about whether I'm using these and what terrifying oddments I'm keeping in this, like human teeth or what's left of my money. I would definitely try it. Um, it is nice to get a little present from the postman that you didn't order, well, that you didn't know what it is, because I buy a lot of things from Amazon, so I get lots of presents in the post, but I know what they are. So it's nice to be surprised with, like, random things that you don't know what they're going to be. Um, I think the glossy box tick form did definitely work, because I've got um, something that I can use on blemishes. Um, I've got this, which is a brand that I've used before, which... I I think it's okay for my skin, I don't want well, we'll find out. Uh, another thing for blemishes, and just, this actually kind of goes with my complexion anyway, I don't know if that was on purpose. So I'd definitely give it a try. Um, I wouldn't say that it's like gonna change your life, but this is only the first one that I've had. So maybe after a couple of them I'll be like, wow, I have a lot of stuff that I'm using that's really good. Uh, although I will say, why would you pay £53 for a mask? Like, unless I put it on my face, and then I peel it off, and my face comes off, and I'm Katherine Heigl underneath, that it's not worth that I amount of money. The, like, that's obviously a tester size. I know, but like, and for- And that's, like, I'm guessing, like, a uh, month's use or something? Like, maybe four masks in that? There's- I probably only get two of those yeah. if I do my entire face. True. If or I do, like, like, just section, yeah. that might- but, I mean, if it's, even if it's like a big bottle, £53 for a face mask? But see, that, again, we're getting into the question of cosmetics and are they overpriced and do they rely on I mean, brand what's name in it? Stuff oh, or... not for use on skin conditions. Or children. <laughs> Which could be described as a skin condition. <laughs> give it a whirl, give it a try, and um, give me any idea of, of, like, what to do with this bag thingy and the box that it came in, because I don't like throwing things that obviously cost money and are a part of it away. Um, so yeah, hit me with some ideas.